Hello everyone and welcome back to another Trenton World 4 first look video. We're going to be taking a look at the DBBR218, the latest locomotive DLC from Trainsim Germany, the renowned developer of the Vosola G6 and the Niedertalbahn. Uh, Niedertalbahn being still one of the best routes on Trainsim World quality wise. Um, so let's hop in. Uh, we are on the main Talbahn for this video. Um, let's do that. Uh, open the doors up. Because you have to do it the opposite side. Oh, let's quickly set that to, to neutral. There we go. Yeah, if you if you open the left side, it opens the other side up. So it's opposite. That might be because we're um, top and tail. But yeah, the the DBBR two one eight. Look at it. it is an absolute beast of a locomotive. I mean, even this one looks cool. The little sort of V exhausts to it as well. Right, I haven't done the tutorial, so uh, let's just see how we get on. Um, so I'm going to sort of do everything which I think is the right thing to do. Um, see, a lot of these German trains are fairly similar to set up. Um, so we'll sort of go with the flow and see how we get on. I mean, what's, what's the worst which could happen? Um, white on. On. White on. Uh, instrument lights on. Should have a brake key somewhere. Is there a brake key? Let, oh, there it is there. Let's do the, the brake key. Let's quickly check the front of the loco. Hopefully the audio is all good as well. Yep, that looks good. Got the whites on there. Right, PZD fuses, where are they going to be? Um, let's see. So we will be late on this service, but that, that's fine. So our gear selection's on fast, as we're a passenger service, so that's fine. Um, where are all of the bits and pieces which we need? PZB and all that good stuff. There's a hunt for it. Probably in the corridor. Cool. Uh, right, let's try and get down the car. Let's go down here. Well, you've got a little, little secret room back here. We might just use um, the, the shortcut key for Cifa. But um, that's alright. Right, we can't go in there. Can we go down here? Seems like the chair doesn't want me to go down there. Okay, can we get down there? We might have to go sort of on, on the other side. Yeah, let's, um, let's, can we get round there? Or can we move in the chair? Maybe we can do that. Is that possible? Hang on, it is. Ah, that's cool. And then round we go. Right, anything round here. Which looks like PZB. Maybe it's in there. Okay, let's, um, let's use the little, uh, shortcut for that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll use the, uh, the, uh, the little keyboard shortcut. It'll probably be in here, won't it? Really? Shift. Oh no, unless it's in the other end. Uh, right, let's get the doors shut now. So, I'm actually going to press right. Which hopefully will close them. Hopefully, let's use maybe the one in the train. Um, hopefully. Lock on. Doors close. There we go. That's better. Right. Um, we got Clin Hu back uh, in three and a half kilometres. Let's get that off. Make sure all of our brakes are off. Right. We are good to go. Let's uh, let the beasts roar. I mean, that's only in sort of power two at the moment. Really be able to get it going once we're out on the uh, on the main line. And we do have uh, working suspension, I believe, on this as well. So you will sort of get the bang bang as we as we go along. Cool. Uh, a bit of sefer. Let's put that down. But yeah, I thought we'd do it on main tail bomb. One is it's a 
bit more of an interesting route than Hamburg Lübeck, and it's also TOD4, um, so it just sort of works better with this locomotive. As this locomotive goes on to two routes, um, Hamburg Lübeck and Maintalbahn. Yeah, I thought Hansa is sort of the newer route with TOD4, so sort of, it just makes sense. Uh, right, let's do a bit of breakage. Oh, you got it for the power to come off, haven't you? Yeah, I should be off, yeah. Cool. Well, so far, so good. I don't know this locomotive in real life, so I can't comment on be like, oh, that's wrong, or I don't like that, because I don't know it. We'll keep the HUD on as well. We probably could do it without on this route, but we'll keep it on. Um, as it's a uh, first look, so you guys want to see sort of how the locomotive performs, how it gets on. Right, we'll get that up. Let's go full whack. Oh yeah, that really. There we go. A couple of fumes coming out. A bit of German clag. Nice. Actually, not too far to clean your back, and I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly. All right, see if that, yeah. So, there's sort of a separate timetable for the um, 218, it does the yeah, regional bar 88 services, and it's based on when one of the 642s 642. Six, yeah, one of the 642s was like there was a they had to go somewhere, so they had to bring in a top and tail 218. So quite cool. I right, probably want to get the brakes on fairly quickly here. We're coming in a little bit quick. But we do get to test the brakes, so it's a good thing. Actually not too bad, we're alright. Oh yeah, the brakes are the brakes are decent. They're not sort of lingering on for a long time either. They're coming off relatively quick. Yeah, good. TSG. Now ah, you got the um, destination. I'll have a look at that in a second. Little destination uh, changer. Definitely going to overshoot one of these platforms at some point on here. Those are not the longest of platforms on here. It's got to be good for that braking. A bit more, I think. Take it off a little bit more. I mean, that's not too bad. I think that will do. Right, let's uh, do the doors. So, that side. Cool. Uh, what should we do? Oh, yeah. A little blind there. A little blind there. Wait, you stop doing that. Open. Okay. Um. Wiper. This is early access, so there might be some things which still don't. They're not like a hundred percent. Um. Yeah, it's early access. That gives you a good, a good idea. Maybe that one doesn't work on here. Quite a few little buttons you can press there. Right, let's get the uh, door shut. Let's just use that. A bit easier. There we go. That's already set anyway. Miltonburg. Hang on, we're not going to Miltonburg. That's where we've come from. We must have changed it. Right, let's. Is that control in that? No. We'll have a little look in a minute. Right, uh, let's get going. Let's get out of here. The Lorden back next. In fact, let's just go full throttle. Let's absolutely kill the locomotive. Yes, there we go. Horns just like, oh, what's that? The Germans don't like having nice horns. It's like this, you know, big, mighty locomotive. You'd think it have a really good horn. Just one of those things you blow into at part at kids' parties. Just like, what's that? The window open as well. 
a bit of extra and you get that little what's this one the trip light window something like that this one's called you got it on the F7 on um, Punchfield little tiny side window S5 for this as well. See far. But no, any German viewers or wherever the 218 runs, maybe it runs outside of Germany as well. How does it compare so far? Are you like, wow, this is, you know, exactly how it is? This TSG is pretty good with his, um, well, with their trains. I mean, the Vosla the G6, fantastic. Uh, the what was it the 628 I think it is the 628 the one on the tail barn that's pretty decent they know what they're doing right going up to a Loudon Bar Loudon Barch Loudon Back I don't know one of them yeah we're a little bit late but that's fine Here we are. See that? Coming in nicely. Let's get the little um, external arrival shot. Probably don't overshoot, which tends to happen when we get one of these shots. So it's, it's quite quiet for a diesel, wasn't it? I mean, I was thinking this sort of thing would be like really, you know, really noisy, but it's relatively quiet. As a sp and, you know, as opposed to say a, a beer, a British diesel of the same era. Right, to the doors. Well, I suppose it's really fairly loud, but. A funky looking loco, but a cool one. The most distinctive thing is just the exhaust up here. That sort of V shape to them. It's quite just there, cool. Right, let's get the uh, doors shut. And then we'll be onwards to Klingenberg. They got the shunting control panel over there as well. Handy. Right, let's get that off. And let's get moving. Should we go full? Let's go full throttle again. Oh, that's probably a really unhealthy thing to do to the train or to the loco. But let's do it. Get that audio. But let me turn up the audio just so you can hear it even better. See inside the engine room. Really. You can sort of see the engine in there as well. But yeah, exterior modelling, lovely. It looks the part at least. Haven't seen real life photos of the uh, of the loco. Little blind there as well. No audio for the blinds. Again, that might change. Signal there. Uh, Cab lights. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm gonna get that off now actually. No, off. Oi. There, off. Probably should keep an eye on the speed limits. Where these little panels are up here. Can't open them up. Got your handbrake down there as well. It feels like there isn't as much you can do on here as opposed to sort of other TSG trains. Something like the Vosola G6, where it, it seemed like every button was, you know, you could press and do something. Whereas right, so on here, there's sort of things which don't seem. Well, 
that's my desk light position. I do like the little things like that. Oh. I've got, as we're, as we're just admiring the locomotive, P's and B's like, what are you doing? Oh well. That will probably be for the 60 which was coming out. You can never do a showcase with PZB on. It always binds. Yeah, we'll come on then, just bring us to a stop. Try and be a bit quicker. Sorry, passengers, there's a red light ahead, or there's an animal on the line. Right, where are you going? Come on. Stop being silly. Oh, the race has come off as well. Full throttle, let it all slip. Let's break it. <laughs> Go. Right. Apologies, passengers. The animal has now cleared the line. We're all good to go. You've got to be careful not to go up 45 now as well. This PZB is watching us. Yeah, it would be for that coming up the 60. Right, maybe we shouldn't admire the locomotive. Hang on, train heating loco. Right, let's see. But now going back to what I was saying, it feels like there's a little bit that's sort of less what you can press and open, and that would have been cool. Maybe just to sort of open some of these fuse cabinets and have a little look see inside. Need to acknowledge that as well. Oh, that was that was close. And we still got to go slow as well. Coming up to Klingenberg, a little water park. Oh my. We've done exactly that, gone above 45. Damn you, PZB. Damn you. Get AWS on here. Yeah, come on. No room for silliness. Let's go. Again. So once you make one piece that'd be screw up, it all goes wrong. Right, let's go again. People need to be places. Right, let's get into Klingenberg. Sorry customers, there was another animal on the line, we had to come to a little stop. They won't know, they won't know. No, not again, not again, put the brakes on, there we go. Right, good. all good. It was bound to happen. Yeah, coming into Klingenberg. Wonder if we're going to be waiting for another train here. So we've got the red at the moment, so might be another train coming along. Well, that's the sort of thing about this route as it's single tracked. You have got to wait at some of these stations for a few minutes to allow another passing service to uh, head past. Which, as we've got the red here, we might be waiting, maybe. Nice and steady up to the red. That would eight. Right, do the doors. And it's still red, so yeah, we might be waiting for something. Let's have a look. Um or not. No, maybe not. Hang on, open there. And we'll wait again. Yeah, not really. I've played much though, main tail barn. We sort of did well. We obviously did it when it first came out, which I think was November last year. Uh, we did a sort of a fair bit of it, but since then, not really. Well, I mean, same with most German routes, sort of haven't really played them too much. That's why I don't play TSW as much. And it's still red. Let's contact the signaller. Contact the box. Then I wait for signal to change. And this is a bit worrying. Uh, what are we waiting for? I 
Might as well get the doors back open. That's what might be objective controlled, uh, but obviously not. What are we waiting for? Well, there's a train up there. Well, that's got the green. Maybe we went for that. Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe that is what we're waiting for. Which is still quite a way away. Um, so we're probably going to be here for at least well. Yeah, that is quite a way away. That's all the way up there still. Maybe what I'll do. I don't like doing it. Cause it means I have to. Actually, now um, will I? Shall I just cut it and then we can come back when it's the train's here? Now let's have for a little wander. No, we'll quickly we'll have a look. Let's uh, let's go for a little wander. Um, let's uh, tuck the chair in. What's that little thing down there? What's that? Um, let's see. Where's the where's the thing gone for the seat? Where was it? Seat there. Let's move that back. Let's go. Let's let's go into the other cab. Maybe that's where the um, PZB fuses are. There's the exterior shot. Look at that of the uh, of the loco. Right. Let's have a little look in this end. Sometimes they can be quite a bit different. Are there fuses this end? <coughs> but no, <laughs> they're all the other. Oh, hang on, hatch. Yeah, there it is. Yes, piece of DNC fur in in the other cab. <coughs> Let's uh, tuck the seat in again. What's this side? Okay, nothing too, too different. Oh, I thought we could go in there for a second. I was like, oh, let's go in, into the engine room. Right, how's that train now moved? It's still sat there, which is quite worrying. Um, I feel like we might have lost our path in some way. Yeah, it's still, uh, still red. Damn you, 05, Papa 1. We went for years. Let's go up again. Go do that. Open that up. Right, I think what I'll do then. I don't like doing it. I mean, I have to render the whole video and it took hours to upload. But I think we'll probably. Oh, hang on, maybe that's why. Is that why? Uh, no. What's that one doing there? Is that one's flying through there? Oh, it was flying through, but not, not anymore. Now it's coming to a stop. That one's still sat there, though. Which is, um, bizarre. Oh, yeah, I shall see you all, hopefully, in a few minutes. Right, took a little while, but we are now, hopefully, going to be on the move. So, uh, let's do that. Uh, we'll get the door shut again. Uh, we'll just use the little thingy here. Right. Let's go. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. We are a little bit late. And the next stop is going to be Verf. Verf? Verf? I think that's maybe how you say it. Where's that? That is there. So not too far. Let's quickly release that. As we uh, have it, yeah, finally make our way out and make our way, continue our way north. Window over there which sort of folds out. See fit, yeah. Cool. But yeah, what route do you guys think you'll be playing more in this loco? Hamburg, Lubeck, or Main Tail Barn? Personally, for me, probably yeah, Main Tail Barn. Um, as well it's TOD4 so it sort of makes a lot more sense to play this one than Hamburg Lubeck but we'll do plenty of videos on Hamburg Lubeck in the 218 <clears throat> so plenty of that still 
Now I've got a warning for a 90 coming up, so we shall acknowledge that. And then Verf is just there, I think. Let's see for as well. Ah, there it is here. Right, now we start slowing down. Crossing out, yeah, there were crossings up there. Cool, right, here we are. Let's try and make up some time as well. So we were due here at 11.33. And it's most certainly not 11.33 now. It's uh, probably a few minutes later. Try and be nice and swift. Test, test the braking capabilities. Yeah, that would do quite nicely. Right. Uh, doors. Oh, that one. There. Yeah, we're ten, ten minutes behind. Yeah, that's, that's a single track. We must have lost our path. Um, because we, well, we had the little PZB incident twice. So it must have just been enough for the um, in-game signaler to be like, right, that one's going first. And plus we were like a minute late anyway. Right, have that off, uh, do the doors, we'll just use that here. Uh, next up is Erlenbach. Oh, fast. Fast off. Mm. Gotta do that again. Funny the horn was actually like in, in the middle of the wheel. Where is the horn? That's there. Is that, what is that for a horn? Just over a kilometre. Is this the one where we go over the bridge? It's like a really nice sort of river crossing. And it might be this one. I think it is. Then Erden Back's literally just on the other side. Let's get a, a flyby shot. This is the river crossing. Yeah, literally, like, all of the screenshot winners or main tailbone is on this bridge. But I thought, as I was waiting at the last station, I've already got my photo. So, uh, yeah, all good. Let's have some bang on. There's some sort of, uh, you know, we might as well get one there, a little cheeky one. There is a little, there's a little boat yard over there. Is that a little sort of boat building yard or something over there? Anyway, coming into Erlenbach, Erlenbach, Erlenbach. There we go. No, we're not right to the end either at this one. It wants us to stop basically now, so we'll just sort of go a bit further up, then we'll stop. Yeah, that'll do it. Right, doors open. Cool. Probably ten minutes late all the way to a Schaffenberg now. We got Glen Stoffelberg here next. We've got Obenberg, Elsenfeld, Kleinwallstadt, Salzbach, Obernor, Aschaffenburg, Sudden, Aschaffenburg, Hoshot. We've got a lot of, basically a lot of places to go. So we'll be there about 12.15 as we're 10 minutes late. So about half hour and we'll be um, at Aschaffenburg. As we are there now. So we're not even like halfway on the journey really. Right. Grand stuff get next. Again, I know that's not how you say it, but that's my way of saying it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Are you 
use anything on here? No. And we're off again. But if you have made it this far in the video, thanks all for watching. And uh, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show this off. Again, this is a Train Sim Germany loco, or TSG loco. Which there it goes on to Hamburg, Lübeck, and the main tail barn. Or well, for the main part, on to Hamburg, Lübeck. But I thought we'd do this route as it's TOD for. So being like all the new lighting and clouds just makes a bit more sense to do it on here. See if that. Nice. And then glanced off the work here. I think it's another little single single platform, quite industrious area as well. Or quite an industrial area. Right, we have got a, a green over yellow, so we'll acknowledge that. And yeah, we'll start slowing down. We're well, coming up to the next station anyway. Yeah, not a, well, not a, a, not like a tough locomotive to drive. Seems fairly straightforward. Like I was thinking, it would be quite a sort of yeah, well, quite tough to drive. You know, with the gear stuff and but no, generally really easy to drive. I know it's not quite any sort of AFB or anything like that, but. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So it's quite a contrast to something else um, TSG are working on, which is um, which is the Expert DBBR101 with the cab car. Oh, also something else you get uh, with the 218 is the M wagon, the diesel version of the M wagon. Um, so yeah, I assume that will be on Hamburg Lübeck. So we won't be able to see that, but we have seen the two and eight with the Dostos. Which is, which is good enough. Right, let's get the uh, door shut. Close. And Obenberg and Elsenfeld next. Let's go. The M wagon probably would be the harder end to drive from. So we can't do that in uh, in this one. But on Hamburger Lubeck, I believe you. Uh, yes. PZB again. Damn you. It's a great thing, PZB, but it can be blimmin' irritating. Right, let's go. Full throttle again. Not having that. Kill the locomotive, we kill the locomotive. Sacrifices have to be made. Let's go. There we go. Cool. I'll let that be, just coast it for now. As we are restricted at the moment. Annoyingly. Now we're not. Oh no, we know we say we've got the 1000 hertz. But once that goes, we'll be alright. See far. Now we've got 60 anyway. That's alright. I 
Now coming up to, yeah, Oben, Obenberg, Elsenberg, platform one. So it's a sort of principal, well, it, it seems like a principal station on the route. There's actually a bit more to it than just one platform. And you've got the yard here as well. I wonder if I, well, hopefully we won't have to wait here. But you never know, we might have to wait for another train to uh, come along. Well, that's not a busy route, this one, though. So we should be okay. And here we are, this is Obenberg Elsenfeld. Pop that down. Come on. And here we are. Uh, so we want to do right side as it's just opposite on here. There we go. And now we're 11 minutes late. Although, quite well, good we've got the signal though. Yeah, on to climb the wood step. Yeah, they're all quite close together though, at 47, 52, 55, 12, 12.02, and then 12.05. They're not miles and miles apart the stations. Look at that shot. And let's get going. Climb wall stat next. Yeah, hopefully it's been a good first look. Yeah, I thought, I thought I'd sort of avoid Hamburg Lubeck because yeah, it's TOD two or three still. Um, so yeah, main tail one was sort of the best one to show it on, as in, but you've got the new lighting. Oh, of course we have. Of course we blimmin' have. I, the thing is, I know PZB, that's the funny thing. It's just, yeah, attention levels are low at the moment. Right. Go, move, full speed. Let it rip. It still looks like 24 as well, which is not ideal. There we go, that's better. Right, let's go now. Now we're not being restricted in any way. We've got three and a half kilometres to climb more stat. So I go even later now. And we're off. At top speed. 100 kilometers an hour, 140. I guess about 100 freight, 140 for passenger. Off we go again. C38. This why I like doing the fast services on this route. But this train, yeah, only does the regional barn on here, RB88. So it's one of those routes, even though it's a short route, if you're doing an all-stopper, it takes a long time. Um, yeah, if you're doing a fast one, it's like half hour, half hour-ish. Yeah, we stop at every single station along the way. Right, green over yellow, so below 85. Knowledge. Start slowing down. And we've got 23 seconds to do so as well. Which sounds like not a lot of time, but 23 seconds is actually quite a bit. Although if you're going at 160 and then you see that come up, then, then you're in trouble. Down a bit more as 
well. I was really thinking about green every year, that's 45. Well, that's sort of the speed you should be going at. So. That's fine for now. Bit of sea fat. Right, coming up to Klein Wolstat. Another station of many. Yeah, what does everyone think of the 218 though? Sort of old school German diesel. It's not as much of a monster as what I thought it would be. Like, it's not like a class 45 or a 47 where you really get that might of the diesel and clag it. It's not that. <laughs> the German diesels are... Nah. But it's still a really cool locomotive though. It looks like it's the boss of diesel locomotives. Right, uh, and let's do the doors again. Oh, that one, there you go. Yeah, 1960s tech. 1960s, 1970s. I think, not yeah, 1970s. This locomotive and still win somewhat usage today. Just obviously not as much. Right, let's get the door shut and it'll be Sills back next in five kilometres. Let's go. On spikes release. There we go. Safe to release as well. So I'll do that. Which means Pizza B is not looking at us. Is the cells back? Knowledge, see for and back up to 120. Should be 120. Is it going to go back up? Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Nice and quick. Let's get another floor. We haven't got enough floor by shots. So let's get another one. It's a cool loco to get floor by shots with. I mean, that was pretty cool. That was a nice floor by shot. There it goes. There, uh, see for yes. I'm pressing you. Don't panic. Right, let's speed that up again. So we're actually due into a Schaffenberg now. Well, four minutes. Well, in four minutes. So we are a little bit um, behind, but that's all right. It wouldn't be DB without delays. See if that. Probably like the longest gap between stations. Between the last one and Souls back five kilometers. I'm almost there. They come down pretty quickly. See for again. It's 
just like, come on, just get us there. It gets to that point in the journey now, it's just like, I want to get to a Schaffenberg. Yeah, we're running 10 minutes late, so, come on. Right, there they are, Mum. Yeah, still glad we did main tail barn, though. Sort of does showcase it at its best on this route. But yeah, as I said, new lighting, TOD4. And also, I've heard it's slightly more bumpy on this route as well. So, it shows off the suspension slightly better as well. And uh, yeah, we'll get to Hamburg Blue Beck in due course and show it off on there with the sort of diesel version of the M wagon which I'm looking forward to uh, giving a go right uh, that and open the doors putting her out the cat eh? so she's been pestering so yeah let me quickly go and do that and then hopefully we'll be able to leave ourselves back and get on our way Your appearance on the uh, on the videos, especially on a first look. And I'll get the uh, get the doors shut, uh, close, and yeah, then we got Obernor next. Let's go. Get a bit of an exterior of the of the loco. Again, it is an early access build, so anything you see which looks a bit wrong, it is early access. It's quite cool doing top and tail though of the um, Dosto coaches. You know, the cab car at one end. One kilometre to Urbano. See if that. Right, let's uh, whack that off, and we'll start getting the brakes on. Nice little village, just one of a nice little town. to Obernor. Bit of Cifa. See a little tractor parks up in the uh, in the car park there. This is like, generally like a really just nice station this one. Serving this little community here. It's, uh, it's a nice station. That's supposed to be a slightly newer station built for the uh, little house and estate here. Right, uh needs to be right oh right open. Here we are. And again it should be the usual for this um DLC five scenarios I'd I'd imagine for Hamburg Lubeck. Uh, I know there's a journey mode on it with three chapters. It's called like German diesel power for on Hamburg Lubeck. Um, and there'll be plenty of different services as well. And on Maintail Barn, there's just tons of Regional Barn 88 services and a couple of empty moves as well. I would t I would tend to show you at the end of the video exactly what there is, but it's still not completely working correctly at the moment. So 
But yeah, it should be the usual sort of five scenarios for Hamburg, Lübeck, um, yeah, three journey chapters. What was it for? Three or four journey chapters. And then for the main tail barn, you sort of got the separate timetable of the top and tail regional barn 88 services. So a fair bit to do, plenty to do across obviously two routes. So the first of Schaffenberg station, which means we are we're nearing journey's end now. On our main town adventure. But yeah, not a bad locomotive, the two one eight. But I don't think it. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know this locomotive in real life. So to me, it's not that exciting. But. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure to German fans it will be a, a nice addition to the game. Obviously, it's a, uh, do, I have, we have a, do we have a German diesel sort of mainline loco? I don't think we do. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, it's good the way it goes across Hamburg, Lübeck, and Main Barn adds a bit more to either route, which is good as well. Now, what have I just pressed there? I pressed A. What did A do? Oh no, I don't press... oh no, we're fine. I pressed A by accident on my keyboard. And obviously it does give you sort of the N-Wagon diesel version, or diesel control desk, which yeah, I would leave us on Hamburg Lubeck. So also cool. In terms of TSG standards, um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that might be slightly less functionality on this one. Yeah, it's something like the Vosola G6, which was really cool. So it be slightly lower than usual. But, you know, it's still decent. And again, can't compare it to real life, as I don't know this train in real life. So I'll leave it up to any German viewers watching, or anybody who knows this loco in real life. Is it the 648 that one? 648 or 642? There's the, there's the normal train on main tail barn, the little uh, unit, little two coach. I think it's also a Desiro as well, a diesel Desiro. What's up, the German Desiro? Knowledge there. Schaffenberg Süd or Schaffenberg South. So One for the ninety. I don't know if we're going at fifty anyway, so but we'll still acknowledge it. I'm just just uh, with Pisa be just acknowledge anything yellow or orange for that matter. matter where we stop and we're sort of in the platform already completely but I suppose we'll try and move up a little bit more I 
Let's see for again going off. Ah, we do. Right. Slam the brakes on. Spill people's coffee. Uh, right. Open. 12 minutes late now. 12 late. Ouch. Yeah, Schaffenberg Hoschel and then oh, Schaffenberg. Yeah, we've given it a good uh, a good run though. Good run on here for sure. All the way out from Miltonberg or wherever. Is it yeah, Miltonberg on this route, isn't it? Right, uh close. Brakes off, and let's get going. The Schaffenberg Huschel next. So that horn, why? Why is it like that? It should be like a nice, proper, good horn to it, but no. to the next stop, although it's not too quick at the moment. Well, I was saying that, we will release it. Because we're not being monitored, so... There you go, let's go and speed up. Just, just, a, just a tad. Acknowledge that as well. Schaffenberg Hoschel. See if that. It'll come in a bit quick actually. Whoa. It's not, 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 not the longest of platforms either here. It's a diddy little station. Has anyone been here in real life? Here we are. This is a Schaffenberg Huschel. Are they getting on? No, it's probably all wanting to get on the, uh, the southbound service. Sometimes I do wish where it was like train some classic where you just close the doors as soon as basically stop, open the doors for like three seconds, close them. Try and make up that lost time. Right, uh, close. And yeah, onwards to the last station off a Scharfenberg. Let's go. Join up with the sort of main Spessart barn route, which is also in the game. I mean, yeah, I'm going to a Scharfenberg. Right, let's release it. So I keep looking at the PZB tool tips when I, I don't need to. It's like oh, we don't have the um, the magnet, so we can just release it. Well, I suppose we do have the um, other green over yellow coming up here, so we should sort of be going 45 anyway. Oh, for... What was that for? What's that all about? It's really not happy with us today, is it? As soon as I was saying oh, I don't need the tool tips. Unbelievable. Maybe it's because we're going that 46 instead of 45. Really pees me off from Pizza B, like, it's just like, no. But hey ho. Move, come on. We're so close now, just a kilometre and we're done. Go. Yeah, it's good. Now we 
Where are the NPC cars on this route? Or is that not a road down there? Alright, coming into a shaft and back. So it does conclude our first look of the 218. Which, yeah, thoughts from me is again, I don't know this trend in real life, so I can't really comment on it um, too much. Um, in terms of TSG trains, I, I would say there's probably slightly less functionality on it than, say, you know, something like the Vosola G6. Um, but that's also we do have the Expert Mode 101 coming at some point. So that will be cool. Um, in terms of main tail barn services, yeah, you've got the regional barn 88 services, which just runs. Um, yeah, it gives you a nice sort of up, almost an hour run from one end to the other. Uh, it's nice that it sort of has a suspension to it as well. Uh, as well, not many trains do have the suspension on them, so that's cool to see. Um, not as claggy as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a really sort of noisy, loud locomotive, something like you know, class forty-five or class forty. But uh, no, it's you know, it's rather sort of not quiet, but it's not as beastly. And yeah, we will be checking out on Hamburg or Lübeck. Um, probably that will probably be tomorrow's video if you're watching this on the release day. So keep an eye out for that. Cool. Oh, screw it, well. Um, I suppose it's being mean to us. Right, there we go. Uh, let's do that and then open. Well, that is going to be a relief for our first look of the DBBR 218. Yeah, quite a cool locomotive. Um, links can be found in all the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, have a, a lovely rest of the day. Big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. This will be releasing tomorrow, uh, which is the 25th of June. The usual time, 10am consoles, a bit later on in the day for PC. Um, yeah. Thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.